Blood Services has provided life-saving services all across Canada. But with the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of donations has dipped. I'm joined now by Mike Choi with Canadian Blood Services here in Winnipeg to talk about the need for more blood donations. So Mike, first of all, can you chat a little bit about how COVID-19 has affected donations and demand? Sure. Well, right now, with the recent reopening of the provinces and territories uh, and the rescheduling of uh, elective surgeries that might have been postponed during the height of the pandemic, we're actually anticipating uh, the demand for blood to rise over the the next few weeks and months to come. Uh, Meanwhile, physical distancing measures at our donor centers actually puts constraints on how much blood that we can collect. So in Manitoba, we're actually only running at about 87% of capacity uh, because we want to ensure the safety of our donors. And this is done through safe physical distancing. So we're seeing less donors at any given time. Um, But of course, donor safety is top of mind for us and it's important. I saw another interview where Um, you'd mentioned that although donations have dropped, you actually, when COVID first came out, you saw a bit of a spike in first-time donors. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, since mid-March to the end of April, uh, across Canada, we actually saw about a 20% year-over-year increase in new blood donors into uh, Canada's uh, blood system, which is fantastic. Uh, I know anecdotally here in in Winnipeg at the Winnipeg Donor Center, um, speaking with some of these first-time donors who came in groups of colleagues or friends or family members. Um, most of them just basically said, well, we have a lot of time on our hands and this is something that we always wanted to try, but maybe didn't have enough time to get to. Uh, so this was now a per- perfect opportunity to do that. So that's really great to see. And of course, we hope that uh, these folks uh, become regular blood donors because um, having that new influx of, of uh, new blood donors constantly ensures a sustainable uh, blood supply to ensure that hospital patients have blood not only today or next week or next month, but for years to come. So what is kind of the importance of having that consistent blood supply? Sure. Well, blood is needed every minute of every day. Uh, In Manitoba, we use about 1,000 units of blood per week, uh, and the demand never stops. The demand never takes a break, even if uh, we take breaks during the summer holidays, and is used for various uh, treatments and surgeries and procedures. Uh, For instance, you know, uh, someone going through cancer treatment uh, might require up to five units of blood per week, and that's for the entire duration of their donation. It's not simply, you know, one donation um, helps uh, save someone, uh, and they're all done, and they're set to go. Uh, Sometimes it's ongoing support that's needed over several months or, or several years, so blood donation is truly a life-saving gift and it's very, very important. As long as you're 17 years old uh, or older and in general good health, there's a good chance that you'd be eligible to to donate blood. But what I encourage folks to do um, if they are interested and never have done it before is take our online eligibility quiz uh, found at blood.ca. And after doing eight quick questions uh, and, uh, you know, spending a minute of your time doing that, you can find out if you meet our basic eligibility requirements. Uh, from there, you can book your first appointment, or you can always give us a call at one to donate, or you can download our Give Blood app uh, to book your appointment that way. So once a person has booked an appointment, what do they kind of need to know before coming in for that appointment? Sure. So a lot of people uh, think that you can just come, show up, and donate blood under any uh, circumstance, but it's not the case. There are a few things that you have to do to prepare your body and prepare yourself to donate blood. Uh, one, we want to make sure that you're feeling well, especially, uh, you know, in the COVID uh, environment right now. If you're showing any symptoms of illness or sickness, uh, even if it's just a runny nose, uh, we ask you to stay home until you're feeling well uh, before coming in and trying to donate blood. Uh, Other than that, uh, at this time, all Manitobans and all Canadians to book an appointment to donate ahead of time because we're not currently accepting walk-in donors. And again, the reason for that is we want to be able to control the flow of donors in our donor centers uh, so we can practice that safe physical distancing. Uh, and we've also implemented a, a COVID screening step uh, right at the beginning of the process before you even enter our donor center, uh, where we'll ask you questions regarding uh, potential exposure to COVID-19 and we'll also 
also take a temperature reading. Uh, after that, uh, you proceed on with a regular blood donation. Uh, so that takes about an hour of your time. But many people think that you're actually donating blood for the full hour, and that's not the case. Uh, most of that time is spent making sure that your blood is safe. It's safe for you to give blood. Um, and of course, you know, the, the patient is the one who's accepting all the risk there. So we want to do our due diligence to make sure that your donation is going to be helping the patient. Um, after all that is through, when you actually get to the donation bed, on average, it takes about 10 minutes of your time to, uh, to fill up a unit of, uh, of blood. Um, in fact, I donated blood just last month and I took about eight minutes uh, and I've seen people donate in as fast as three minutes. So um, it's really no time at all in, in the grand scheme of the entire process. Um, and also right now we are, uh, we have, do have a mandatory uh, face mask measure in place for a donor center. So if you have one from home, you, you can feel free to bring that. Uh, otherwise, we can supply you uh, a fresh one-time use uh, face mask. Blood donation is very easy. Again, uh, an hour of your time could you know, give a life lifetime to someone else. Um, and I encourage you that, uh, or I encourage that um, if you've never done it before, uh, come with a friend or family member, uh, you know, make it a bit of a social event, a, a physically distant social event, because it's so much easier and a lot more fun uh, when you make your first donation uh, with someone else who's never done it before, or maybe come with a seasoned pro. Um, so again, if you're interested in booking, uh, you can visit blood.ca, give us a call at one triple eight to donate or uh, download our Give Blood app.